and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm just riding around celebrating the fact that my Lyric Graffiti has turned six months old I've had the bike for six months. I'm approaching 800 miles on the bike. And I've had an absolute blast on this bike. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know how much I enjoy this bike. Just, uh, just uh, the feel of this bike how it rides, how smooth it is. It's just been an absolute joy. Particularly, most of my riding is on the road. I've done a little bit of off-roading, but for the most part, it's been on-road. And this bike, if you're looking for a commuter on-road bike, like I say, it's been a total blast. Been easily my favorite bike to ride. I've really enjoyed it. Now this is the version uh, 2022 model, so now they have the 2023 model. I've had no real problems. I've had one flat tire in my six months riding, and then I had a, an issue with the battery fuse, but that's been resolved. And I blew a fuse on the battery, but uh, one of the batteries, but uh, Other than that, I've had no issues, really. And like I say, it's an absolute blast. Every time I get on this bike, <clears throat> I just don't want to get off. It's... And, of course, I like my regen braking. If you've seen videos in the past, you'll know all about that as I use that. 99% of the time. The only time I've used the handbrakes is when I have had to stop suddenly, which has been very rare. Because as I just heard a pop, I hope I didn't blow on the tire. I, because uh, the regen braking doesn't stop you on a dime real quick, but it's a more gradual stop but it's awesome. And I'm so used to using it now, I'm gonna miss it if I'm on any other bikes, which I do now, when I go on other bikes and I, I wanna grab for the uh, regen braking and it's just not there. So, I'm a real fan of the uh, regen braking for sure. Uh, like I say, I've only had the one flat tire and it was not a big deal. I mean, I had it was a roofing nail in the rear tire and I didn't even take the wheel off. I was able to just leave the wheel on the bike and just take off the uh, tire because I, I saw the nail in the tire as I turned the wheel around to find where the problem was and the big old nail was stuck in there and then so I knew where the problem was, so I just took the tire off the rim and then pulled the uh, pulled the uh, tube out and just patched it up, and we were good to go. So that was the one and only, and like I say, that was the back tire. Just a beautiful day here today. So 
So if you get yourself a Lyric Graffiti, let me know if you are as crazy about your bike as I am mine. another question how many out there have just one e-bike and that's all they've ever owned and they still have it and they're loyal to that bike and they don't want to get another one I'm sure there's some people out there that have just had the one bike whichever make it is and model and uh, and stuck with it the whole time they've been riding electric bike If you have, tell me about it. Let me know in the uh, comments below. I'd be interested in hearing what kind of bike you have and why you like it that much. What is it about that bike that has made you a loyal rider of just that bike? You don't want another one or maybe you just can't afford or don't want to pay for another one because they are expensive. But. Uh, or maybe it's just the fact that you absolutely love your bike and you don't have any reason to get another one. I was going to turn down there, but I think I'm going to go down the next Street. I smell something burning. Now I think I'll go down the next one. I might have waited too long knowing the car coming. That's alright. We'll just wait here for a moment. The one thing on this bike that I thought I would have more of an issue with is the uh, thumb throttle. I thought I would have more of an issue with the thumb throttle, but you know, it did not take me long to get uh, used to it, and uh, I don't mind it. I mean, I'm kind of used to it now, so I'm kind of okay either way. I mean, the new uh, Graffiti X, they are switching to a believe me full twist throttle so I, that's good too they're all good I mean you just get used to it I know there's a lot of people that absolutely do not like the thumb throttle and I was kind of speaking like that when before I actually got this bike but you know like I say I've I've gotten used to it it doesn't bother me too much one thing I would like though and I've mentioned this before, I think a cruise control would be nice. Especially if you're going longer distance and you know, you're out on the on the road and there's not a lot of stop and goes and you're gonna be just a steady. It'd be nice to uh, just set it up at 20, 25 miles an hour, whichever speed you wanna go at and just have it there. Um, give your hand the rest and it might actually be better for your uh, battery as well maybe it wouldn't drain it quite as much I have seen cruise controls on some bikes but not a whole lot that's not a very common thing on the bikes some bikes have it but like I say I haven't seen too many that have that feature but I mean I'd rather have the regen braking than the cruise control for sure So if you want to leave a comment below on this or any other video, go ahead and do that. And 
that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.